Hey guys, what's going on? It's Anthony here from SDK Today, and I know right off the bat you're going to be like, uh, dude, where you been? And uh, the fact of the matter is, I don't have as much time as I'd like to with making videos, and I've actually just started up another channel called Pixel Syntax. The link will be in the description. Uh, quite frankly, uh, SDK tutorials take uh, a while to uh, construct just because I want to get every detail into the video as possible. That way you guys can learn and follow along in a quick and uh, easy to uh, view manner, I suppose. And the main reason why I started SDK today was because a lot of the video tutorial uh, SDK uh, tutors, I guess you can call them, uh, weren't making as high quality videos as I saw myself uh, actually making so I started up this channel and uh, I can say it's gotten pretty popular I get around uh, 10 personal messages uh, every week uh, asking for tutorial ideas and uh, other things like that and my subscriber base is still uh, growing even with me not making videos so I'm gonna get back into the swing of things making one video every week uh, possibly every Monday or every Friday so look out for that, and I promise you guys now I will be sticking to the content, and I will be sticking to the videos, uh, because honestly, I really want to help you guys learn as much as I can, and answer all of your questions. So, one of the first PMs I got, which actually intrigued me, was uh, some guy wanted to learn how to switch views uh, in his iPhone app, and uh, basically switching views allows you to have multiple uh, views in your iPhone application. So it's pretty easy to do around three lines of code. So let's get started. Let's go into Xcode, navigate to file new project. Go ahead and select a view based application. We can just call this switch. So first things first, before we touch any of our code at all, we're going to want to make another view controller and we can do this easily by right clicking on our classes folder going to add and navigating to new file here we have a couple different options for an objective c class an objective c protocol an objective c test case class and a ui view controller subclass we're actually going to be selecting our ui view controller this is going to allow us to have files like our dot h and dot m uh, pretty much exactly but with a unique name to it and you're also going to get an XIB file for the interface of that particular view controller. So we are going to be going from our switch view controller to our uh, second view. So this is going to have unique items to it. And our uh, first view is just going to have a button that says uh, switch. So if we go into our dot H of our switch view view controller, we will be making a button. So that's slash uh, IB action. And we'll just call this switch uh, views. And then if we head into our .m, we will actually have to import our uh, view controller that we created. This is basically allowing the classes to link up with one another because automatically, unfortunately, Xcode doesn't uh, do this for you uh, for multiple reasons. But I won't get into that right now. So we're just going to import that. So number sign import uh, second view dot h. And uh, that was honestly really simple. And uh, now we can go back to our button instance. So that was slash IB action, switch views. And here again, we are going to control uh, call our second view controller. So second view. And then we're just going to give it a unique name like uh, second equals. And then we're going to allocate that in this instance. And then we're going to do in it with nim name and the nim name is uh, just your XIB name but since it's already set to a uh, second view we can just go nil because that itself doesn't have a unique name uh, sometimes you can make it so that you just create your two uh, class files and then a separate XIB which you can link up later using this line of code but we also do not have a bundle so we can just go nil for that now we are going to want to present this in our uh, application so we'll just go self present model view controller and then our view controller was called second and then we're gonna animate that and now we're gonna release it so that way we don't have any memory leaks and uh, things like that 
And uh, that's pretty much it for our uh, switch view view controller dot h dot uh, uh, m sorry. And now we can go into our resources folder and go into that particular uh, interface builder file. And we are just going to add a button and uh, link that up with the switch views uh, action. Just add another UI view and a button. We'll just have that say switch. Files owner, received actions, connect that and select touch up inside. Now for our second view.h, we'll just be making another button that just says uh, go back. And then here, we'll just allow it to easily uh, transfer back to the first view controller that you were uh, dealt, uh, that you were presented with in the application. So to do this, you can just go self dismiss model view controller. Uh, I apologize. It's two S's. Dismiss model view controller animated. Yes, there you go. Sorry about that, guys. But uh, if we go into our second view uh, interface builder or our XIB, we can add a button to that interface and we'll just have that save back and we'll do the same thing. So now, if we head into build and run. It's going to load up our iPhone application with no warnings or anything of that nature, which is always nice. And here we have our button that says switch. If we select that, it'll switch to the other view. And if we hit back, it'll go back to that first view. And to prove this a little bit more, we can just log this element in our view did load. And to do that, you just go NS log. Um, this is our second view. And what this will do is actually log that to an Xcode application uh, called the console. And uh, this can help with debugging your application with uh, hitting certain buttons that uh, you're dealt with a crash or anything of that nature. And to do that, when you hit build and run, there's this little GDB uh, dialog box. And if you select that, it'll load up all your springboard uh, element uh, details so if we go to switch when that view is loaded it'll say this is our second view as we place in our view did load and if we go back since we didn't log anything it's obviously not going to so guys thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe check out pixel syntax the link will be in the description of this video also, again, I apologize, but more content is coming soon. Uh, source code is in the description, as always. Now, we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.